Well, sticking with sports, we begin tonight with a sport that takes a lifetime of practice and a love for canines. It's dog sledding. The Grand Mesa Summit Challenge Dog Sled Race happens in the middle of January, and the racers are making last minute preparations. Carry X5's Adrian Thomas caught up with one of the racers to learn more about how to train for a dog sled race. Dog sled racing, what comes, to mind, what comes to mind? We maybe think of a team of Siberian Huskies braving the Alaskan wilderness. But in reality, dog sledding can be enjoyed pretty much anywhere. I caught up with one of the dog sled racers, or mushers, who has invested over four decades into the sport and lives and trains right here in Grand Junction. It might be a strange sight to some, seeing a dozen dogs run attached to a four-wheeler through the desert, but this is all part of the rigorous and unique training process for dog sledding. So we start out with just a slow run, short distances, and just gradually build up their endurance. Yeah. Jesse Miltier fell in love with dog sledding when he got his first Siberian Husky at 17. Since then, he's taken his passion to the ultimate level. He has over 12 dogs he takes care of year-round, and he breeds and raises them all by himself. All these dogs have Siberian behind them, but uh, it's also a mix with hounds. Jesse Miltier and his dog sled team train on a special course here at the base of Mount Garfield. It's all in preparation for the Grand Mesa Dog Sled Challenge in the middle of January. Jesse Miltier says training on this course helps his team get technically prepared. You know, just like a chain, uh, the, no chain is any stronger than its weakest link. Uh, in dog sledding, a team is no faster than its weakest dog, slowest dog. So you're always looking to see how you can improve or change. Jesse's course spans several miles in the desert north of Grand Junction. He says the rugged terrain and winding course helps train the dogs for when it comes time to actual sled races through the snow. This is a 24-7 job, though. Jesse keeps his dogs on a rented piece of land in special enclosures and even imports their food from Canada. He also cooks for them. During the winter, I also uh, I cook up chicken almost daily, at least five days a week for them. Uh, chicken is, a, is something that they easily digest, and so uh, that's added to their food to give them extra calories. Before we said goodbye after training, Jesse and one of the young dog sledders he mentors shared the three most important rules of dog sledding. One of our clubs, the Colorado Mountain Mushers, kind of jokingly say there's th three, three rules to dog sledding. What are they? Never let go, never let go, know when to let go. <laughs> yeah. Why is that? Well, if the dogs get away from you... They're gone. They're gone. <laughs> they're not coming back. They're going to go back to the finish line. And we'll post more information about the Grand Mesa Summit Challenge Dog Sled Race on westernslopenow.com.